Question eight says, a program is needed to take a string containing a full name and to produce a new string of initials. Some words in the full name will be ignored. For example, the and of four and two may all be ignored. Each letter of the new string must be uppercase. So for example, integrated development environment, right, IDE. Uh, yeah, this one, well, this goes to ASCII. Right, the program has uh, well, got the following global variables, a 10 element 1D array called ignore list of type string to store the ignored words then a string fn string to, full, uh, to store the full name string. Right, we can assume that each alphabetic character in the full name string may be either upper, well, uppercase or lowercase, and the full name string contains at least one word. Right, the programmer, uh, well, we got these modules. Now, actually, these first two we actually don't need for the first question, um, because the first question we just have to create this. Right, so to keep the video shorter, well, let's focus on this one now. Right, ignore word, it says uh, called for string parameter representing a word, it searches for the word in the ignore list array and returns true if the word is found, otherwise returns false. Right, so this one is actually not too difficult, you know, just a linear search. Although the thing we have to look at is, well, these here in the ignore list, uh, they're all lowercase. However, like the full name here, right, this can actually be uppercase. So yeah, we will actually have to convert them to lowercase. Um, Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and actually try and code this then. Right, so this will be function, uh, this will be ignore word. Right, uh, let's see the parameter, I mean I guess we can call it word, and then if we think, uh, let's go returns, and then this will be boolean. Um, now, I mean, I think here, yeah, linear search, right, we actually don't need any, uh, yeah, we don't need to declare any variables. Although what we will need to do is convert this word to lowercase. Um, so let's just go like this and then we'll just go to lower. Um, and yeah, that just takes the word. Right, and then while well, here we're just looping through. So I mean, let, wait, we call it n, we can call it index, right, maybe position. So let's say one, right, then we'll go two. And I mean, here we could just say 10 because I think if, if they told us there's 10 elements, Uh, yeah, so a 10 element 1D array ignore list. All right, so yeah, we could use 10 like this, or if we want, uh, we could also use the length of ignore list. All right, that would also be fine. Um, and then here we just need to check if they're equal. Okay, so check that if the word, or right, this word parameter, is equal to the current element in this ignore list. So the way we can do that, well, let's go if word equal, and that will be ignore list, and then here the index position. Um, right then if it is right it says return true so yeah let's just go return true uh, right let's close this let's go next position and then while well, linear search once we've looped through everything if we've not found it right then we can just go return false um, and yeah I mean that should work so let's just test it uh, right so I think uh, right ignore word um, let's say for example the right and here we'll just use uppercase um, because if we look well that that's yeah the first one right so this should say true yeah okay uh, then let's also try two okay this was also there all right but then uh, let's say if we have something like uh, I don't know maybe this right so this wasn't there um, and yeah this says false all right guys so hopefully this will make sense um, and then we'll just move on to part B here we just need to create this get initials uh, procedure so it says it will process the sequence of words in the full name one word at a time. It will call get start get word and ignore word to process each word to form the new string. And then it will output the new string. Right, so let's just have a recap of what these get start get word mean. Uh, so get start, this is called with an integer as its parameter representing the number of a word in the fn string. Uh, right, it returns the character start position of that word in fn string or minus one if the word does not exist. Right, for example, get star three, right, applied to hot and cold returns nine. Um, and the reason this returns nine is because it's saying, well, yeah, here is like, uh, you know, where is like word three, basically. Um, and then, well, here it's saying that word three starts at character nine. Now, let's say if we did, right, get star one. Well, get star one would return one, okay, because word one starts at index one. Uh, likewise, if we do get star two, right, I think that's going to return five, okay, because, yeah, this A is at index five. Uh, right, so I mean get words, I mean basically it's just going to get the word from that index. So it's called with the position of the first character of a word in fn string, right, as its parameter, it then returns the word from fn string. Uh, so again, hot and cold, if we do get word 9, it returns cold, because we're saying, well, what word starts at character 9? 
and yeah, if we see here, well, obviously this called. Uh, likewise, if we did get word five, right, that uh, that would return and uh, get word one, where right, it returns, uh, yeah, hot. Okay, so this one, I mean, it's a little complex because I mean we need to use all three of these functions, but if we actually think about how we can do this, I mean, like basically we just want to loop through all the words. Okay, so we can do that by just uh, looping through this get start. Because if we say get start one, well that's going to return one. Again, get start two, right? That returns uh, five. And then yeah, get start three returns nine. Now, as soon as we get to get start four, well this is where it returns minus one, all right? So basically, I mean, we'll want some kind of let's say while loop, and um, we'll just you know kind of loop, uh, let's say loop while get start is not equal to minus one. Um, and then what we can do, well inside that while loop, uh, then we just want to get the word, right? So again, using that index. And what we'll have to do is we just have to get the leftmost character, right? So we can do that. Um, well, I guess first we need to check, right, if it's in the ignore list or not. So if it's not in the ignore list, then we get the leftmost character. And we have to convert that leftmost character to uppercase. Um, and yeah, just concatenate it with, you know, our kind of final answer, right, the initials. Um, and then, yeah, I think once we've got that, well, then we just have to, uh, yeah, then we just have to output at the end. Right, so let's see if we can do this then. Um, this one is a little tricky just because uh, you know we're using these three other um, yeah three other functions right so here this one actually doesn't have any parameters but let's think about the variables we'll need um, I think one I mean well one is going to be the initials okay so this is our answer basically and this will be of type string now I think maybe we also want the current word um, because again, we're using this get word, right? So let's yeah, let's store that word somewhere. Uh, I think probably let's also have uh, maybe the character position of the current word. Uh, so let's go declare, let's say maybe uh, no character index, right? That'll be an integer. And if we think, right, let's also have the word index, right, or the word number, because while well, we start on word one, and then well, with hot and cold, right, we're going to go up until word four, um, because yeah, word four is going to return minus one. Right, so that, uh, hang on, yeah, that is what this word index is going to represent. Right, so let's think about just initializing these. Well, initials, uh, okay, wait, where is that? Uh, okay, right, initials, well, this will just be an empty string um, because, yeah, we're just going to concatenate with this. Now, I think word we don't need to initialize because uh, we'll just assign this, you know, with the function. Um, character index, yeah, we also don't because, again, we're, we're just using the function to get that. Uh, but let's go word index, and here we say, well, word index will start at one, right? And and I mean this one, like we could do something like this uh, if we go while and let's go. Is it? Yeah, I think get start. Uh, what does this one do? Um, yeah, I'm just going to read this again. Okay, so yeah, get start is the one that takes the word number. Um, so we could do something like. Uh, yeah, I think this will work, right? So while get start word index, and right while this is not equal to minus one, um, then what we want to do, right? Let's just go word, and this will then be the get word. Okay, yeah, this also takes the word index. Uh, okay, no, sorry. Right, okay, so yeah, th this is where it's a bit tricky. Um, so I think when I was thinking about this, I mean, we could have the first one like this, right? And well, then in that case, we've actually got to call it twice because we've got to go char index like this, uh, which, you know, maybe that's a bit annoying having to call it twice um, because the thing is, right, this get word, this takes the character index. Um, yeah, so I mean, hopefully that makes sense, right? So that if uh, what we're saying is, well, get start, right? This takes the word in index. So like, yeah, where is the first character in word one? Right, if this is not equal to minus one, uh, well, yeah, then we just want to assign this, you know, because I mean, then we actually need to use this in this get word, um, because well, here this char index will be one, right, in you know the first time, uh, so then it's saying well, yeah, you know, get the word that starts at character one. Now we could do this, but again, right, we're calling it twice. So rather than doing that, I think what I yeah what I was thinking, uh, in fact, how, right, let's go character index like this. Um, so basically, uh, okay, hang on. All right, I mean, basically, we can do this first, and then, yeah, rather than using this function, right, let's just go while char index is not equal to minus one. 
um, and then yeah, something like this. All right, so that should be uh, yeah, kind of more simplified. Right, and then what we want to do then, we want to check if this word is in the ignore list or not. Um, so right, let's go if uh, yeah, if ignore word. Right, this takes the word, and let's see if equals false because well, this means we actually want to use this word. Right, then what we want to do, uh, let's just go initials. Right, so we want to concatenate with initials. And then if you think, well, here we need to convert to uppercase. Now, if we want to convert a string, we can use this to upper. But in this case, we only want one character. Um, so because we only need one character, you know, we can just use ucase. Uh, right, because well, to upper will convert a string, whereas ucase, uh, yeah, this just takes a character. Um, right, so the character then, this will be left, and then we'll get, uh, right, so the string is going to be word, and then this one, right, well, we just want one, right, the leftmost. Um, I think, yeah, then if we go end if, yeah, and then I think that's fine, right, and then all we need to do, well, we just need to update this character index. Um, so if you think, well, the way we update this character index is by, uh, yeah, kind of, you know, calling this get start again. But here we also need to update the word index, right? Because we, we need to go to word two. Um, so here then we just, uh, yeah, we just increment this word index. Um, right, then we just get, uh, yeah, then we just have to increment the character index. Okay, because if we think, well, here, yeah, here now we've gone to word two. And now we want to say, well, what is the starting position of word two? Right, of course, well, the next time it's going to be word three. And then finally, when we get to word four, well, now it's going to become minus one. Um, and then, of course, well, when it's minus one, right, it's going to exit the for loop. Uh, sorry, okay, exit the while loop. Um, right, so this one is, yeah, get start. Right, this takes the uh, word index. And yeah, let's just go end while. Now, I mean, hopefully I've not made any mistakes there. Uh, let's just get output initials and let's go end procedure. Right now, if we call this, I mean, well, the string is hot and cold. Um, so I think what well, and is one of these stop words, right? One of the ignore words. So this should just output HC. Um, I mean, yeah, let's, let's see if this works. Uh, yeah, okay, right, this seems to work. Now, I'm actually gonna go here and just copy these ones as well. Um, let's just test it. Uh, right, well, I'm, I'm actually going to keep this, but let's just reassign to this fn string. Um, right, let's copy this. Uh, right, and then, yeah, I'm going to copy this one as well. Um, and then, right, let's copy this again. And, yeah, that's, uh, let's then take this ASCII. Um, right, hang on. And then, yeah, let's run this, see if it works. Um, all right, yeah, guys, so, I mean, this is working. Now, I mean, actually, there's not actually that much code. I mean, only sort of, well, I guess, yeah, 20 lines. But, I mean, a lot of those are just spaces, to be honest, or just empty lines. Um, I mean, the difficult thing with this one is obviously, uh, yeah, just kind of using these three different functions. So I would say before trying a question like this, I mean, make sure you're familiar with, you know, obviously, well, what these functions are actually doing. Because sometimes people, they just start writing and yeah, they don't really know what these functions are doing, um, or they haven't planned, you know, how they're going to use these functions together, right, in order to actually solve the question. Um, so I think, yeah, we, I mean, with any of these questions, right, make sure you've got a plan of how to solve it, okay, then start writing. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully this makes sense, and well, as always, uh, any questions, leave them in the comments, ask on Discord, and see you in the next video.